such an honor to be here, Apostle of God, and your dear wife, Ma, said I must bring greetings to her daughter. I said, her daughter and her son. So she said, yes, but first say her daughter. So she's in PE, but uh, she's uh, at a family function there for a week. She'll be back on Monday. So I'm going to read from Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26 to verse 28. And that's very, very powerful. And God said, you see, and God said, when did God say this? He said this after he created for man. And God said. In other words, letting us know whatever God did before that was for this. Let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them, empowered them, anointed them, and said unto them, Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue the earth, and have dominion. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, over every living thing that moveth upon the face of the earth. Praise God for his word. God said to the Godhead, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. They had a board meeting and they were discussing you and I, mankind. And they came to a conclusion. They said, let us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. What is the image of God? What does image mean? I looked at that beautiful picture there when I came in here. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that man. I can see his eyes, his nose, his mouth is just about to smile, but he just held it back a little bit. <laughs> I just look at it and look at that beautiful woman he's standing next to there. Wow. <laughs> that is an image. Right? Here is the real. So if you want to know what God was saying, let us make man in our image. First understand the picture is the image and then the real is here. So God is talking in language, in, in picture forms for us to understand. He says, let us make man in our image. So we have man and we have God. So God is saying the image of God is man. Did you hear what I said? The image of God is man. In Colossians 1, Chapter 1 and verse 15, the Bible says that Jesus Christ is the image of the invisible God. So we learn something there that God is invisible. To be invisible means you cannot see him with these eyes. But he does have an image. 
An image is something you can see. But he cannot be seen. He's a, Jesus is the image of the invisible God. So when I left home, I looked at myself in the mirror and I haven't worn the suit for a long time. I got another one, the color similar to this, but it's not this one. This one was made, I think 2011, it's written at the back, 2011 or 2012. But I couldn't wear this one because while a tailor was making it, it I put on weight. And so I got too big for the suit. So the suit stayed in the wardrobe. And then recently I want to still run with these young men here. So I decided to, hey, I got to lose weight. And why is it even too late to Gushi eba ne mali. Gwata unga eba kulu no msimba. And so I, I started losing weight. And then for three months, I lost 14 kg. <laughs> Why? Because I'm not going to die. I never die. I want to be with you all. I want, I want to be with you all. Hallelujah. I'm not in a hurry to go to heaven. I can have heaven here yeah, and the earth with you all. Hallelujah. And so today I tried it on and I said, Ew, auntie. And so I took a nice picture and I sent it to Ma Ann. And she sent another picture back clapping her hands. Maybe I'm thinking she'll come back quicker. Anyway. And so, and so the image, we're talking about image. Say image. image. Yes, say likeness. likeness. Yes. In the biblical context, image and likeness gives us the idea that man represents God in the earth. God has designed it that man must be a representative of God. And this happens through God and man living in union together. It's called incarnation, not reincarnation. Reincarnation's different. Reincarnation, Shamba Mina Gingafa Gibikat, Shambunga, Mafe Abikundani is reincarnation. So Parshungam song is cutting man say reincarnated. And so no 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 no. We're talking about incarnation. Say incarnation. incarnation. Incarnation means God and man being joined together. That's what it means. Union between God and man. God is a spirit. And God created us to be spirit beings. And to have a soul, a mind, and to live in a body. But who we really are is a spirit like God. So the real me is on the inside. The real you is on the outside. We're looking at you on the outside. But God who is a spirit sees on the inside. And he sees your spirit. Now, man is made up of three parts. While he's a spirit, he has a mind. And that mind has to do with his feelings and his will. His mind is his thinker. His feelings is his feeler. And his will is his decider. That's called a soul. But God is a spirit. So God created man to be a spirit. And we're going to look at it. And the spirit is the image of God. Our body 
is given to us of God. And it has five physical senses. Sight, smelling, touching, uh, uh, feelings. There's five senses there. And it's given to us to relate in the natural world. We relate in the natural world through that which we see, which we hear, which we smell, which we taste, and which we feel. Five physical senses. We can relate in this natural world. The natural body on the outside has to feed on physical food. To be healthy. If you don't eat, your body gets weak and you can die. So you eat physical food from the earth and you do exercise. So I can get to grow up and be young like this apostle of God here before. And maybe I can get a torn jeans and put it on like that. <laughs> And I was looking at his shoes, how he's jumping. Maybe, maybe I can jump a gun on a gun to all the food. And so we, we, we lose weight. We eat right, we lose weight. Then you have your mind is your intellect. Your mind is given to you by God to feed off intellectual knowledge. So you can operate in an intellectual realm, a scientific realm. And so your mind works with your body. So your mind lives on knowledge of education. You're always learning intellectually and you can operate in an intellectual realm. But your spirit which is the image of God, has to be fed on spiritual food and has to do spiritual exercises. And our spirit is given to us by God. That's who we are. So we can relate to God who is a spirit. The Bible says God is spirit. And those that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So it's important if you want to be successful, you want to enjoy a life of union with God, living with God, to understand that God joins himself to your spirit. And the Bible teaches us that he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit with the Lord. So your spirit and God's spirit become one in the same way a husband and a wife can become one. And so that's what happens within you. You've got to feed your spirit. Your spirit's got to do exercises. Speaking in tongues is an exercise of the spirit. Uh, you feed your spirit through the word of God. Praying is an exercise of the spirit. Witnessing is an exercise of the spirit. Oh, preaching is an exercise of the spirit. The more you do spiritual exercises, the more your spirit man grows, and the more your spirit man gets strong. God designed us. How did God design us? He designed us that the spirit man must rule the intellectual realm. And the intellectual realm works through the body. But through the fall of man, education was introduced, which is a substitute for revelation. God gave us revelation that this knowledge of God would educate our intellect and that the spirit will rule the intellect 
and we will live through this natural body experiencing a natural life in the spirit not in the flesh in the spirit but because man fell there was no varsities and schools in Genesis 1 and Genesis 2 there was just revelation there was just God there was just the tree of life that man had to live on so we thank God for education because of the fall of man and the fall of man caused Satan to darken our intellect, blind our minds. And men introduced education to feed our intellect, intellectual knowledge. And it does help. Education does help. Education does uplift humanity. It helps you to get a better job. It helps you to live in life with greater understanding. But your education does not give you an ability to get to know God. Education is a study of creation, not a study of creator. No scientist can find God through science. It is only through Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come unto the Father but by me. And Jesus said, unless you're born again, you cannot see the kingdom. With all your education, if you're not born again, you cannot see the kingdom. With all your education, you cannot enter the kingdom unless you're born of the Spirit and the water, you cannot enter the kingdom. So you've got to be regenerated. You were generated. You were given life. But Adam fell. And uh, the devil became his father. Jesus said in John 8 verse 44, You of your father, the devil... And the lust of your father. You see, lust is not love. It's a substitute of love. The lust of your father you will do. And when you speak at the lie, lies is of the devil. Truth is of God. When you, when you speak at the, when you speak the lie, speak it of his own. For he was a liar and a murderer. Murdering is from the devil. So the nature of the devil has to do with lust, with lies, and murder. And you speak it of his own because he was a murderer from the beginning and he was a father of lies. When man fell, the devil fathered him. And the devil's nature, the devil's image came into man. And, but God never intended man to be like that. And so it's important that you understand where education came in. So education was a help to man in his fallen state. And it is important. Don't hear what I'm not saying. It's absolutely important in this world that we live in to feed our minds with intellectual knowledge to operate in an intellectual arena. It's important. Uh, however, with all our intellectualism, you could never achieve what God can give you through the Spirit. When you're sick, Intellectualism will get to a place where it can fail, and yet God never fails. When you're broke and don't have money, intellectualism 
with the bank manager, you didn't operate your credit card properly, <laughs> you can't get a loan for Christmas. Intellectualism will fail. God, my God, provides all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. With all your education, your marriage can become very unhappy. With all your education, you can start it's called lust. No babom da la cona lea on doing a yens a foot. Goba pillowasatanelo. And so Jesus regenerated us. He gave us a new life so that we can be restored back to how God originally created you in Genesis 1 and Genesis 2. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So now, you don't only have to look at a peacock and say, what a beautiful feathers this bird got when it goes like this. The glory of God can come out of you. And the beauty of the Lord can shine through your face. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And, 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 the, and the favor of God can work powerfully through you from the inside. God works from the inside. Man works from the outside. God works from the inside. Man looks on the outside. But God is a God of the heart. God is always working from the inside. He comes into your heart to change your heart. He comes into your heart to put the whole Bible in a seed in your heart. For that seed can germinate and grow in your heart. So you can be the full image of God. Hallelujah. Hey, your future is better than your past. Hey, your best days are just coming upon you now. Your future is racing to your present right now by the faith of God. Your eyes has not seen. Your ears has not heard. Neither has it entered into your heart the things, the things, the things. Is in do. The things. Unkulunkul eglungi sele wen. Is over la kale emoyen in a pagati gwen. Hey! The things he's prepared for those that love him. Hallelujah. You cannot get that with your education. As wonderful as it is, you get that from the spirit of God. And the spirit of man is a candle of the Lord or the light bulb of the Lord. Searching all the inward, the inward parts. So God is a spirit. Heaven is a spiritual place. The kingdom of God is a spiritual reality. The kingdom of God means the spirit is invading the natural and transforming the natural to be like the spirit in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Spirit is more powerful than the natural. Spirit is very powerful. Say very powerful God. Say omnipotent. Say all powerful. All powerful. Nothing powerful like our God. Hallelujah. 
all things are possible all things are possible hallelujah there's an atmosphere here of possibility i speak into your life tonight that the things that were impossible from tonight become possible the things that were impossible become impossible tonight in a moment it can become possible in the name of jesus let there be a shift let there be a shift let there be a shift sit down for a few minutes let's get the thing laid down properly so god is an invisible god because his spirit but the spiritual realm is more real than the natural realm. The natural realm came out of the spiritual realm. So the natural realm is a lower realm than the spiritual realm. And that's why God is a spirit. And the kingdom of God is spirit. And you are spirit. And God's called us now to be spiritual people that can live in the spirit. When I'm in the spirit, I am the voice of God. When I'm in the spirit, heaven's shores I trod. So Lord, help me walk in the spirit. Help me talk in the spirit. Because when I'm in the spirit, he is glorified in me. Anything can happen in that glory. Sick bodies are getting healed in this glory. Money transfers happen in this glory. All your needs are met according to the riches in glory. Glory is a rich place. All you got to do is just reach out and take it and say it's mine. I take it now. I take it now. Take it now. Take it now. I take it now. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. You've been denied too long. You've been delayed too long. I serve notice on delay that the delay is over the denial is over now 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 is now is hallelujah hallelujah i feel like something is in the atmosphere i feel like God is here. God is in this air. Spirit is in this air. There's a spirit of God. Omniscient spirit. Omnipotent spirit. Omnipresent spirit. The spirit is here upon me. The spirit is right there upon you too. Same spirit. The spirit of the Lord is upon us. Because he's anointed us to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to heal the brokenhearted and preach deliverance to the captives. In the mighty name of Jesus, shout Jesus, Jesus. shout Father. Father, shout Spirit, Spirit. in Jesus' name. Jesus. Sit down for a few minutes. Hallelujah. 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 Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Gumnand. Gumnand. Ekaya. Ekaya yangulungulu pelala. Ubaba. No Jesu. No moyo ngwel. Sithel gath. Ekaya. Ses figile kaya. Is kati setu ses figile food. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Let's rewind. Go back to these two chapters. Let's look at it. God said, let us make man in our image. Remember, God is invisible. Remember that Jesus Christ is the image of God. So, if God says, let's make man in our image, I began by saying, that's the image of Baba Noma. Right. God, you are going to born in a Lomel. I can't say there's an image of God, but what I do know is that I am God's mirror. And you are God's mirror. Amen. When God wants to see how he looks, he looks at you. <laughs> so what is image? What is image? What is image? You can't see God. But he said, let us make you in our image. So what's the image of God? What's the image of God? Have you ever thought about that? What's the image of God? If he said, let us make man in our image, God cannot be seen. But he says, let us make man in our image. So image can be seen. But God cannot be seen. But he says, image can be seen. So what's the image of God? The image of God is the attributes of God. Like love. God is love. Holy. God is holy. That's an attribute of God. Uh, God is joy. All the fruit of the spirit are all the attributes of God. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness. So where do you get the attributes of God? You get the attributes of God from the Bible. God gave us a Bible so we can know the life of God who is spirit. So the word of God contains the attributes of God. In fact, the Bible says, John put it like this, in the beginning was the word, John 1.1. 1, 1. Think about that. In the beginning, go back to the beginning, there was a was before that, before creation. So in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. Interesting. And then the word was God. The word was God. Whew. The word was God. Then all things were made by him. The word. And without him. Nothing was made that was made. Then verse 14 says, and the word, say, and the word, and the word. was made flesh, flesh, flesh and dwelt amongst us. And we beheld, and we beheld the, glory the glory of the only begotten of the Father, of the only of the Father. full of grace, full of, grace. Full of, truth. Full of truth. Wow. So Jesus Christ was the word 
made flesh. And when he got made flesh, flesh covered him. Jesus was the word. One of the names of Jesus is the word of God. And so Jesus is God. Say that Jesus is God. Yes, say it again. Jesus is God. Yes. And Jesus is the Word. Say, Jesus is the Word. Jesus is the Word. So when Gabriel came to Mary, who was a teenager, and said, you are the vessel God chose. Christmas message. Incarnation. Say incarnation. incarnation. Yes, incarnation means God comes into man. And mingles his life with man. Jengo tata manzo forget you sukovus. A born good in a man's in it you say say thanga in a young kelang. It's called mingling. God is mingling his life with you. Like the bush that was on fire that Moses saw in a desert. A dry old bush burning. The fire was in the bush. And the bush was in the fire. But the bush was not being burnt out. It was an intermingling of bush and fire. Ooh, hallelujah. There's an intermingling. There's a mixing up here. God is doing something in your spirit. Right here now, on the inside. Yai kovuza lento. Yai kovuza ngempela. Yai pega futi lento check evele zuluin aziki skaka la uzuzaga se inzi nyaba ba uzaga se singwa se sa. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Ubaba ya guazik shumal. Iningi into la gubab. Anguazi kotu gamanji. Supermarket <laughs> Young king, he lungi le ready manje. Iskati sako says ready manje. Uza ugu uza wase zuluin. Konu zobu mundo la imsaben ovele zuluin. Mama mama la ha ha ha. Enga ra 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 basa la ha. Enda la banda bara ba 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 banda. Indo talagantu vele zuluin. Hallelujah. O pege we nanje. O ya kwasmu la manje. Enga tu fagu vesling and tau faganga. Yagbona go to kwasmu lang empel. Go mo yong well. O peg umfundis. Eh? Umfundis ya kwasmu la. No mama. Ye mount tinta manju nga wa pounds. Hallelujah. Give Jesus a big hand. Hallelujah. first course. start What to Salambi? Paneling peg a foot in the chair. Ain't your guas goose like a cool lula. 
Kulungile kwebe moyen. Unga shupegi. Unga taite moyen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is how God made man. The Bible says he went to the dust of the earth, the ground. And he formed man. Like how you play with plasticine or clay. How many of you have ever played with plasticine? Made an animal, made a human being. You know about that? Or you made it out of clay. He took the ground. Ango boni mshlabo mshop. I got to ask you a little ndaba. Ang funu nge nagle ndaba gakul. Mbono mshaba lagmi. The the earth is brown. Fertile earth. style Hallelujah. Amen. He formed man from the earth. Science proves that this body has all the elements that the earth has. Your body does not come from heaven. Your body comes from the earth. Everything you ever need for your natural life, your cars, your clothing, your houses, your furniture, it's all from the earth. God formed his body from the earth. But it was lifeless. And the Bible says, then he, <laughs> he breathed his breath into his nostrils. Why am I calling? Not just Kono Umoyo Noel Umgin Pagod Kona Uso Pil. And then the Bible says, and man became a living soul. What did I say the soul was? The mind, the emotions, and the will. What did God breathe into man? He breathed himself. His spirit went into man with the breath of God. When God breathes, he's breathing spirit. He breathes out spirit, he breathes in spirit. God's air is spirit. That's why it's like the wind. Cannot tell where it's coming from or where it's going. You just see the damage it does. Moyo ngwele. Agwaz gbonu gutu moyo vela api uya api. Ubona nje indu moyo uyenza. Uye iva gang. Uya bona nje moyo uyenza. So it's everyone that is born of the spirit. So God breathed into man. Into his nostrils. The breath of life. The breath of life. Never forget that. Say breath of life. The breath of God became your life. 
your spirit, who you are, is the spirit of God. That's how God created you to be. That you are an offspring of God. When God made the plants, the earth gave forth the plants. And God said, let them produce after their kind. We're talking about Jonah, the whales. God says, let the whales and the fish produce after their kind. Let the cattle and the beasts produce after their kind. But when he came to man, he never said, let man produce after his kind. He said, let us make man after our kind. You are a God kind. You're not a human kind. That's why you're a child of God. You're a son of God. You're a daughter of God. Dogs don't give birth to cats. Horses don't give birth to goats. Horses give birth to horses. Dogs give birth to Cats give birth to. God gives birth to. If that education comes here, shh, above natural education. Natural education doesn't teach you to see yourself like God. All your degrees can never teach you that. That you in the image of God. You are in the likeness of God. And you have dominion like God. Means you're a ruler. God is not a servant. God is a king. Kings give birth to kings. I'm going to pray for you. Your life will never be the same. But I've got to give you the dessert. I must give you this dessert. I've given you starters. I gave you two main calls. You're still sitting on the table. Usafuni ice cream na yonki into ya. It'll be well with you. You'll live long on the earth. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Image and likeness, this glory of God on the inside of you when you're born again, you have this treasure in earthen vessels. Now you are going to be glorified. In other words, you must enter into a realm where you manifest the glory. You, you are carriers of the glory. Every one of you have the glory of God within. You're a vessel that carries the glory of God. But the season the church is going into is this glory, these living waters is going to flow over your soul. There's going to be an adjustment that's taking place where you're not going to have your mind rule you. The spirit will rule you. And the mind will submit. That's why the Bible says, trust in the Lord. Not with your mind. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Commit your way unto him and he will direct your paths. 
I'm adjusting now. Spirit, soul, body. Soul, come down. Submit to the spirit man. You'll be a hot man. With all your education, you'll still use it, but under the spirit guidance. It will not direct the spirit. Education cannot enter the spirit. Spirit and spirit is compatible. Come stand behind. Spirit and flesh not compatible. Spirit and intellect not compatible. Spirit and spirit, solid, solid, and never fail. And God, I want to pray for you tonight. You're going to learn how to live in the spirit, talk in the spirit, because when you're in the spirit, he is glorified in you. God and you become one. One, one. Image means the attributes of God must begin to be reflected out of you into creation. The only way creation will see God is through you. God is calling you to be the Bible. To be the word of God made flesh again. There is an ongoing incarnation of God that's taking place in the earth. And it's happening right in this church. That God will be seen through human flesh again. As a body of Christ. A many membered body of Christ. Likeness of God. What is likeness of God? Likeness of God means God is going to back you up with his authority when you act like God. Jesus said, all authority is given unto me, both in heaven and in earth. All. It's above every other authority. Authority in heaven authority in the earth and Jesus delegates it to the church he says go ye therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the nature of the father baptizing them in the nature of the son baptizing them in the nature of the Holy Spirit immerse them in God let God fill them and teach them to observe all things that I have taught you. And lo, I'm with you until the end of the age. And so, and God created Adam from the dust of the earth. There was no life in him, he was earth. But when God breathes into him, his body was not mortal. His earthly, lifeless body got swallowed up of life. Didn't become immortal, swallowed up of life. And Adam had no death in him. Adam could not die. There was no sin in him. Sin brought death. That's why the Bible says in Ephesians 1, 4, that he's predestined us. He's pre-planned us for us to be blameless. For us to be innocent. And that's what Jesus Christ went to the cross for. To shed his blood. To regenerate you. And that's why on the day of Pentecost, when 
Jesus went to the Father. He received the promise of the Spirit and he poured that out like a jug, pours out water. And there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues as of fire. And it sat upon each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. And they all began to speak like God. Where God was giving them the utterance. Will you stand? Let me pray for you. And then I'm going to leave you. Lift up your hand.